So it seems like uh, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez are breaking up again. And part of me is surprised, but not surprised at the same time. So we have to go back to 2021. So 2021 was still dealing with the pandemic. Uh, early 2021, Jennifer breaks up with Alex Rodriguez. And I actually thought they were going to make it because they were engaged. Alex was always there. He was like, he would like film Jennifer while she was at award shows or performing. Like he was, he was in there. Like they seemed like they were a happy couple, even given Jennifer's record <laughs> of just failed relationships. But then they broke up because I think part of the thing is, I think she was, there was trust issues. Like Jennifer really didn't trust Alex in some ways. Um, so they ended. Ben at that time was dating Anna de Armas. They had met on the film of Deep Water. I believe it's Deep Water. Uh, really good film. But then a few months later, he broke up with Anna de Armas. I was like, no! She's so pretty. <laughs> I was like, don't get rid of Anna de Armas for Jennifer. Don't do it. But there is a draw between Jennifer and Ben Affleck. And that's the crazy thing about these two. They really do love each other. But it's a thing where they just can't be with each other because they haven't changed since 2004. So they broke up in 2004. Uh, and one of the reasons why they broke up was all the media attention. That whole Benefer thing makes Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey looks like high schoolers. I don't care how much people want to see uh, how, how much the media is going to want to show uh, Taylor and Travis. It does not compare to Benefer in 2004. You couldn't get away from it. But once again, like Jennifer loved the attention. Ben didn't like, then he didn't like the attention. So they busted up. Fast forward 2024, it's the same thing. Like Jennifer now, social media. Back then, there was no social media. There was no MySpace, nothing. No Facebook, none of that stuff. Now, with all these different platforms, Jennifer is doing that to stay connected to her fans and she likes revealing parts of her life. Uh, she did that with that documentary that she put out. But Ben doesn't like all that attention. Like, I think in some ways, Ben envies. Matt Damon, his buddy, because Matt Damon got married in 2005. Um, ben also got married in 2005 to Jennifer Garner. But Matt, you know, we barely see his wife. He's married to an Argentinian chick. They met in Miami. They got like three kids. And you barely hear a peep about their relationship or about their life. Once in a while, something comes out. But in next year, they'll be, they'll be married for 20 years. But Matt married somebody that's, someone that's not in the industry. Why like Ben has always dated someone for the most part is in the industry. And I think he really is attracted to creative women. Like it was like, you know, Jennifer Garner, Jennifer Lopez, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow, like, uh, 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 Anna de Armas. Like he's, he's, I think he's turned on by creativity, but then he's also turned on by the fact that these women are go-getters, but that's the thing that kills the relationship. Right. So we have Ben and Jennifer here. So it makes you wonder can they ever have really good relationships? And to be honest, they probably had their best two, they both won't probably their best relationships when they got married after they busted up in 2004. Affleck married Jennifer Garner um, in 2005. Lopez married uh, Mark Anthony in late 2004. So she broke, she, they broke, her and Ben broke up in early 2004 and then she got married at, by the end of 2004, which is just crazy. But she was married to Mark for like 10 years and they had twins. And the difference between her relationship with Mark and everybody else is that Mark Anthony is a skinny dude, but he's a tough guy. And he was able to do that Jennifer wouldn't do for Ben. Mark basically told her, I'm marrying Jennifer Lopez. I am not marrying J-Lo. And when they were married, Jennifer put all the J-Lo stuff aside. No Jennifer on the block, none of that stuff. She was still making movies. She was still making music, but it wasn't as intense as it was when she was J-Lo. But after a while, I think, she she felt she felt chafed by that. Like she wanted to get back out there. And my I'm sure she had these conversations in the mirror, like uh Issa Ray and Insecure when Issa's talking to herself and herself is talking back. I'm sure Jennifer Lopez was talking to the mirror to J Lo and it was like, Girl, you know you want to get back on that stage. It's like, no, I can't. I can't. I want to be a wife in the mall. It's like, girl, get on that stage. <laughs> and and that's you know, and after she divorced Mark Anthony, she became J-Lo again. And, and again, that's who she is, right? She tried to kind of stifle herself to kind of fit as almost as a traditional wife, and she can't. That's not her. Ben, on the other hand, I always felt like Jennifer Garner was the right chick for her, tr tr chick for him, because she was, she was, listen, I always liked Jennifer Garner since Alias. Like, Jennifer Lopez is really curvy. Uh, Jennifer Garner 
is curvy in an athletic type way. Like she's kind of built like a volleyball player or a swimmer. So she's kind of, she, she's, she's got a nice build, but is very athletic. So, but she seemed like very sweet and very kind. So when he got with her, I just felt like, you know what? She seems quite nice. She's different from Jennifer Lopez. Not to say Jennifer Lopez isn't nice, but Jennifer, Lo- Jennifer Garner is a little bit low key. And that's how their marriage worked. She backed away. Jennifer Garner backed away from being an actress. I mean, she still did stuff, but she was happy being a wife and a mom. And even after they got married, like she, she still does some productions, but for the most part, she got that, that farm company now. And that's like a, it's making like a hundred million dollars, like a hundred million dollar company. Uh, I think it's called Once Upon a, Once Upon a Thorn Farm or something like that. So, you know, she's, she's a go-getter like Jennifer, but she's just way laid back. And I think the thing that killed their relationship was, I think Ben said that he felt trapped in the relationship. And later on, he said he wasn't blaming her. He just said they just grew apart. Um, and he had started drinking and all that stuff. But I guess Ben has to look at himself in the mirror. Like I'll get on Jennifer for in a second. Ben has to look in the mirror and say, dude, you're never happy in these relationships. You got with Jennifer Lopez. You're, you're turned on by the fact that she's a go getter and she's this, she has this Jado persona. And I'm sure they have a very passionate life together, but you know that she likes all this attention. Okay. So you don't like that. You got Jennifer Garner, who who doesn't who doesn't she don't voice the attention, but she don't really embrace it. She's a lot more low key than Jennifer Lopez. So you actually got the right Jennifer, but he wasn't happy there. So Ben Affleck has to decide like what type of relationship do you want? And I mentioned Matt Damon before. I think he would like to have a a marriage that Matt Damon has, but I think he just he he, just, he every woman that for, for for the most part he's met is even an actress or a producer, and that's the type of women he seems to like. But I would advise him, don't get into any other relationships until you figure out what makes you happy, man. Now, if Anna the Armist is available, I'm going back to that for a minute. <laughs> Anna the Armist is single. If I'm Ben Affleck, I'm at least spending the summer with Anna the Armist and then, then figure everything else later. Figure, figure, all, figure everything else out later. Next year, we get 2025, I'll figure about myself. But right now, I'm going back to Anna. But yeah, he really should really focus on trying to figure out why he is not happy in relationships when he had two different types of Jennifer Jennifer's and he couldn't be happy for Lopez. Like she's really trying to fight to, to save this marriage, but she also has to look in the mirror and is like, why did my relationship seem to fail? And she's dated different types of dudes. You know, they've some made more money than her. Some made as much money as her. Some didn't make as much money as her. She, you know, she seems like she's a good mom. Like, you know, she loves her kids. Like she seems like a decent chick, but again, Jennifer has a big ego um, and she has to realize like maybe cut down on the JLo thing a little bit. You know, you can still do, you can still be successful and all that stuff. But if you just keep on being like, I'm JLo, I'm JLo, you're not going to keep a guy. And the one thing that she has to watch out for is the guys who's coming up. If she's trying to get a younger dude next time, you don't know if these guys there for clout. You don't know if those guys there for money. You don't know if these guys are there for the come up. And plus, because she got kids now, you don't, you know, she's in a different space now. You know, you don't know who you're going to introduce, you know, who you're going to introduce to these kids, right? Like Ben Affleck was a dad. A-Rod was a dad. If she goes younger for, for, for a guy who don't have any kids, she got to be careful with that, you know? And also, Jennifer, don't date anybody because <laughs> Jennifer has always monkey branched from relationship to relationship to relationship. And monkey branching, if you don't know, is just someone who, as soon as one relationship ends, she's in or he sometimes is in the next relationship. And she's done that ever since, ever since I've seen her with Puffy, probably even before that, she just gone from relationship to relationship to relationship to relationship. She needs to take a break. You know, I think she really does believe in love. I think Kim Kardashian has the same thing. Elizabeth Taylor had the same thing. Like I think Jennifer Lopez really believes in love and that's a beautiful thing. But man, you got, you, you got to sit back and wonder I, love is one thing, but can you actually be a really good partner to somebody? And the same thing to Ben Affleck. I almost hate that these two can't work it out because I think they can. But let this be a warning. Sometimes the, someone, the person you broke up with years ago might be the same person. And even though you might be passionate with that, that person, if you haven't fixed those problems, breakup number two will probably be on its way. <laughs>